Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many Angular developers encounter. Our viewer is working with an NGRX store and RxJS-based application that listens to a WebSocket for incoming data. Initially, everything works perfectly, but after some time, the connection seems to drop and they stop receiving updates. They want to know how to reconnect the WebSocket to ensure the observable continues to emit incoming values. Let's dive into the details and explore how to solve this issue. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you get through that resolution. So, let's continue on. To reconnect a WebSocket in Angular using RxJS, we first need to modify our service to handle reconnections. Let's start by updating the listen to the socket method. We'll add an event listener for the one close event of the WebSocket. This will allow us to attempt a reconnection when the connection is lost. Next, we need to implement the reconnect method. This method will create a new WebSocket connection and resubscribe to the observable. Finally, ensure that the observable continues to emit values after reconnection. We can achieve this by using a subject to manage the emissions. With these changes, your WebSocket will now automatically attempt to reconnect when the connection is lost, ensuring that your application continues to receive data. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To reconnect a WebSocket in Angular using RxJS 6, you can utilize the WebSocket function from RxJS. First, import the necessary modules. Then, create a retry configuration with a delay of 3 seconds. Finally, set up your WebSocket connection and use the retry operator to enable automatic reconnection. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To reconnect a WebSocket in Angular, check your service implementation. If you're creating a new WebSocket in ng on init multiple times, it can override the existing connection. Instead, use a behavior subject to manage the WebSocket connection. This allows you to emit the last value received even if subscribers connect later. Here's a revised example. Initialize the WebSocket only if it doesn't already exist and use the behavior subject to handle incoming messages. I hope that video helped find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya.